Hola amigos, in this video I wanted to share with all of you the damage left by Hurricane Lydia beyond Puerto Vallarta. Most people only show the city, which of course is very important, but forget the surrounding areas. Our beloved South of PV areas have been affected more than anything the roads to get to these wonderful and beautiful towns of Mismaloya, Boca de Tomatlan, Juntas y los Veranos, and further have seen much damage. The day after the hurricane, my friends and I went on this road, which is Highway 200 South, with the sole purpose to make sure our friends in all these different towns were safe and did not need help. So I'm going to take you along in this video so you guys can see the road to get to the farthest town we went, which was El Tule, Jalisco, which is about a two hour drive from Puerto Vallarta. Okay, we're here in Miss Maloya. This is a friend of ours, her, their house on the bottom. It's pretty much gone. And their business over there to the left also. Emmanuel, con toda la actitud. Ahí te va a salir como esa película de los gusanos de la tierra. 
Ah, oh, sí. No sé cómo, no sé qué hago. Yo creo que hay un plano en la esquina. Acá va a estar lo bueno, este, el, el tramo este de Boca a, a Juntas y Verano siempre es intenso. las cascadas So my husband and I are very familiar with this highway and the road all the way to Juntas y Los Veranos as we do our ministry work there in the area and surrounding towns and we travel back and forth every single week so we understand how dangerous it gets during the rainy season. There's many mudslides, rock slides and it can be very dangerous but we were surprised on how much destruction we saw 
on our way from Boca to uh, Juntas y los Veranos. This is by far the most dangerous part and it was crazy what we saw. All our friends in Juntas y los Veranos are okay. They did receive quite a bit of damages either to their vehicles or to their homes due to the hurricane. And actually the town of Juntas y los Veranos as a whole has been the most affected, I believe, from all the surrounding towns. They still don't have electricity, they don't have water or phone service. We couldn't believe how much disaster there was on the road all the way to El Tule, Jalisco. So keep in mind that there's been people working to clear out the streets. As you saw, there was a helicopter of the CFE, which is the electrical company here, to restore power in all these towns. Everybody was busy, busy working. But as you can see, it's a lot of work. It's going to take a while to clear all these roads out. And what happens is after the event happens, especially in the dangerous areas like the road in between Boca to Juntas, it continues to um, fall in the following days. There could be other rock slides or even mudslides. And also if it continues to rain, it makes things worse.